The Chief of the Defense Staff, Vice Admiral Matthew Kwashi, has, on behalf of the Ghana Armed Forces, apologized to the Ghana Journalists Association and the Ghanaian media in general over the ill treatment meted out to two photojournalists at the 56th Independence Anniversary Parade in Accra. In the wake of the apology, Vice Admiral Kwashi declared the report by the committee that earlier investigated the matter as null and void. About the manhandling of two photojournalists, Mr. Vincent Jache of the Ghanaian Times and Nima Tebotri of the Daily Graphic by some military officers did not go down well with the Ghanaian media and Ghanaians in general. Following the incident, the military set up a committee to look into the matter. The Inky fraternity was displeased when the perpetrators of the offence were exonerated by the committee. In order not to strain the cordial military media relationship that has been built over the years, the top hierarchy of the Ghana Armed Forces decided to meet executives of the Ghana Journalists Association, GJA, to apologize on behalf of the military. The chief of the defense staff, Vice Admiral Matthew Kwashi, described the incident as unfortunate, which should never have happened. We'll continue to collaborate with the press. I'm glad about the truce. I believe uh, we we'll cease fire and uh, we we'll put the arms back to where they belong to and uh, the armory and um, we hope there may neither be the need to use the pen as a weapon or the sword as a weapon but we will combine both the sword and the pen and then good things should come out of it I thank all of you very much for your understanding and patience the military High Command and indeed the entire Ghana Armed Forces is very grateful that you have accepted our apologies and we've also understood where we are coming from and therefore the need for you to, you know, stay within limits so that such occurrences should not happen again. The president of the GJA, Mr. Roland Afelmoni, accepted the apology on behalf of the affected photojournalists and the Ghanaian media. As far as the media are concerned, what happened on Independence Day has been consigned to the dustbin of history. And it also serves as a learning curve for the two sides to bear their minds on how to scale up their relationship. We are living here fully emptied of any bitterness about the incident and drained of every shed of, of outreach which provoked the media backlash. We believe that the two cannot do without each other. They are brothers in uniform and believe when the pen and the sword combine, the nation will benefit. Both the military and the GJA hope that the apology will deepen the relationship between the military and the Ghanaian media.